In this video, we are going to explore how one uses some of the advanced features of OSCAR to explore reactions. I'm in the program OSCAR SYN, uh, and we're using this reaction as an example. It's the acid catalyzed addition of methanol to this alkene. Now, I'm in OSCAR SYN. OSCAR SYN actually allows one to uh, verify uh, uh, products for many common reactions. So what's what's going to happen here? Well, we're going to we're going to protonate the uh, double bond, and then the methanol is going to add. So let's let's do the simplest possible product. We'll do, I'm going to just draw out the possible product, doing what I just said. So here's our basic uh, skeleton, but I'm going to add uh, a proton to this carbon here. Okay, uh, so there's the proton, and the uh, the methoxy group will add to the second carbon. Oh, so I made a mistake there. Let's put in a carbon. Uh, click down and over uh, over put in the methyl. So so there's 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 my supposed product. Now Oscar Sin can check this for many reactions by clicking clicking the evaluate reactions button. And it says error, 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 something's wrong. Well I'm very confused. I don't know what's wrong. So is it the hydrogens? It must just be the wrong product. So let's, I give up. I, I, I'm, I give up too easily, but I give up. So let's erase the product and let's just have Oscar uh, uh, tell us what the product is. What is Oscar drawn? Oscar's drawn the oxygen at the tertiary center. Isn't that interesting? A rearrangement has taken place. How did that happen? Well, we have to do a mechanism. Now, how do we do a mechanism? Well, let's 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 just uh, go back home and open up the same reaction in uh, Oscar Sketch Plus. This works because I had saved it um, uh, before I'd started. Now, let's go through this step once. What's the first step? Well, we're going to use the proton. What are we going to protonate? We're going to protonate the double bond. So we grab the uh, arrow key up here. Uh, we click on the double bond, we click on a point in space, we click on a proton. Then we have to deal with the uh, bond from the proton to the oxygen, because that's going to remain on the oxygen, so we draw an arrow out from the bond to a place in space, back to the oxygen. That's the, that's the first step. Go up here to the, uh, uh, the uh, follow the arrow uh, icon, Wolfie follows the arrows. Click to the left, and uh, Oscar draws out the product of your of your arrows. And of course, we have our free methanol, and we have our first carbocation. Now, this is a secondary carbocation, and what we already have learned is that somehow the oxygen is going to end up on this carbon. So, we have to have a rearrangement of this carbocation. Now, the rearrangement requires a shift of something. A methyl could move. But in this case, a hydrogen is going to move. Now, the hydrogen's not, not drawn in automatically, so we have to manually add the hydrogen so we can use it in the mechanism. Um, the hydrogen was always there, it just wasn't drawn. So we're going to simply do a simple hydrogen shift. So uh, we go, again go back to our, our, our arrow key. We simply click on the bond to the hydrogen to a point in space and to the carbon with the now bearing the positive charge. We draw in a reaction arrow, okay, and we click again uh, the uh, mechanism arrow, and we, we have done our, uh, our hydride shift, giving us the carbocation that we want. Now we have to add the methanol, so draw a downward arrow, okay, I need a copy of the methanol, uh, so I'll go over here and just choose that one, use it as a copy. Place, place, place it over here. Uh, the only thing really important is that you kind of have it above the upper half of the arrow. Uh, now we'll draw, draw the, uh, the, the uh, our arrow, curved arrow again, tacking uh, the, uh, uh, the carbon. And once again, we'll use our uh, uh, magic arrow. Uh, this gives us the protonated product. We, the only thing we have remain, remaining to do is to uh, lose the proton from the product. We could do this two ways. We can have another methanol 
come and pull it off, or we could just kick the hydrogen off. Well, let's use the methanol. So I'll get another copy of the methanol, bring it down here, and uh, draw curved arrow. This require two of them, one to the hydrogen, and the other one to uh, get rid of the, uh, take up the OH bond. So final query here is, uh, didn't click it. Aha! See the problem? This 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 molecule is outside the zone. What I need to do is I need to move it up a little bit. Now it's in the zone, and our magic arrow works. So this actually shows off one of the difficulties of of the program, is that it has trouble sometimes interpreting exactly what you're doing because you have to stay within these regions. The regions are defined by the arrows. If you get a reaction like that one where it doesn't it doesn't do anything, it's quite often because one of your reactants is out of the region. So I had to move this methanol up a little bit to get it in the region. But we're now finished. Uh, here's our here's our final uh, uh, product. Our catalyst, which is the uh, protonated methanol, is returned. Uh, here it is, and so everybody's happy. So this is how you can use. Uh, Oscar uh, Sin to verify products and how you can very rapidly use the features of Oscar Sketch itself to draw out mechanisms.